Hi, this is just a brief overview of your Riello user interface. I'll just go through some of the basics on the interface for uh, a user to understand. So if we look at it, first of all, this touchpad is touch sensitive, but unless the pad is unlocked, which you press and hold the padlock button, which you can see here it's prompting me to do by flashing, nothing will, nothing will happen on the controller. So keep an eye out for the padlock. Uh, like I say, you try and press buttons and it'll start flashing. You must press and hold the padlock to remove it. And now we can do things with the controller. So first of all, we'll just focus on uh, just some of the symbols and what each part of this means. So obviously date, time, outdoor, sorry, indoor temperature. This is your heating side here and hot water side here and function notification here for the hot water side. Um, the heating is notified separately, uh, sorry, it's switched separately through your third party controls. So your underfloor heating or your radiator um, main control thermostats will demand the heat pump separately. So there is no actual function on the heating side here. In fact, if we go to try and do anything, you'll get this sign saying that your heating is controlled by uh, other thermostats in the property and that it will not function through this. Um, so there's nothing you can actually do power wise with the heating. You can just uh, raise and lower the flow temperature. Uh, again, we don't actually um, suggest you do that because this heat pump would have had a predetermined um, weather dependent curve built into it, which should meet the demands of your property. What I'll do now is just show the heating come in demand by turning on a room thermostat over here. Just do this quickly. You get demand on this stat, which will in a moment bring on the demands to the heat pump, which will in turn bring on the pump. Okay, you can see now that the heating is on. It has let us know that the heat pump is on in a function. And then if you look for the squiggly lines, you can see that the function there is on, on the underfloor heating. In a moment, you'll see a pump symbol come up to let you know that the pump is starting. And then from that, the compressor will run on the outdoor unit and the fan will start. Okay, so the system is now up and running. You might be able to hear the fan running in the background. Uh, obviously, noise is um, a little bit higher in here because we're in internally in the uh, training training room. So you can see here the compressor symbols come up and the pump symbols up. So the unit is fully running now so that you wouldn't really need to look outside to check if the fan's running. Um, you can see here that both, let's say, the, the pump inside the unit pumping the water around and the compressor is running and it's live in heating mode. So I'll just switch all that off now by the room thermostat. And the unit will still run for a moment, just because it's brought itself up to speed. <coughs> speed. And there we have the compressor switching off. The pump will overrun for a short amount of while, but you can see there the demand from the heating's gone. And the heat pump will slowly begin to shut itself down.